Welcome to Jeremy vs. USA, and today we're going to talk about healthcare. Of course, we're going to talk about St. Patrick's Day today. Tell me about it, Jim. What's happening? Oh, on. Yeah, I want one as well. Cool. St. Patty's Day. Saint one of my favorite days of the year. So, March 17th. Is it always March 17th? To my knowledge, yes. Okay. Yes, it is always March 17th, and it's for, you know, St. Patrick. Mm -hmm. um, and St. Patrick's Day, I guess, got started because... Um, um, Ireland, the the saint, he came to Ireland. Mm -hmm. He's um, an Irish saint. Yeah, okay. and he came out, and it used to be like the colors like celebrate it mm -hmm. were, were blue, but then people were like, well, "That's not that fun. Let's switch to green." Okay. And so the reason it was switched to green is he explained the uh, Holy Trinity mm -hmm. uh, with a clover to like the people living that in was Ireland. A clover, right? Yeah, and so like the three parts of the clover. We're like the Trinity. Okay. And so that's how St. Patrick's Day started. Okay. Um, and then in the United States, we've always celebrated it because of all the Irish history in the mm -hmm. United States. And the American the, Irish people living here, like of Irish descent, right? Right. And so you have you have parades all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, the largest five are Boston, huge, you know, Irish population in Boston, mm -hmm. um, Scranton, Pennsylvania, where the right. office is filmed. What are they doing? And isn't it somewhere they color the river green? Right? Yeah, Chicago. So is Chicago? Chicago is another very large parade, um, and they co color the river and this, they like they dye it green. Yeah, and I think like in front of the White House, actually the the fountain in front of the White House on the north side is also has also like water with green color. Right, they do that, and then where else? Let's see. You got a couple other places. Savannah, Georgia, in the south has a huge parade as well, mm -hmm. and you'll see people dressed like this and wearing like kilts and you know playing with bagpipes and just drinking also a lot of alcohol right a ton of alcohol the yes. irish you guys drink a lot right alcohol and potatoes they do it right <laughs> potatoes yeah they love potatoes is that true it's a stereotype the irish people love potatoes i didn't know that I really no another episode topic and in germany you um i think you well I guess I kind of heard about St. Patrick's Day from watching the news and when they dyed the color green, uh, when, when they uh, yeah, dyed it green. And um, and I think there was a parade in Munich, like a St. Patrick's Day parade. Okay, I was going to ask if y'all had any parades or anything uh, for that. It's not really a present thing. I mean, I guess if you're around Irish people or Irish pubs, they are probably going, going to celebrate those in Irish pubs, but uh, it's not that big of a deal, actually. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, there the parades here are big. It's not a national holiday, except like I think parts of Georgia actually get off work for it, okay. and like in certain sectors of the United States, so maybe people will get a day. But for the most part, people go to work, um, and it's really for younger people to kind of party and celebrate. Cool, Boulder leprechauns. Why? What? <laughs> What's up with leprechauns and the Irish? All I know is leprechauns have a ton of gold. And you follow, I guess, a rainbow, and you can like get get their gold. Okay, so you can get the leprechaun's gold if you follow the end of the rainbow. Right, and so makes a lot of sense. It does, and really, I don't know where that started. Mm -hmm. It's just like an old, I guess, Irish fable. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe it was just to like draw people out of their villages. Like, yeah, follow that rainbow. You'll 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 be rich. <laughs> follow the leprechaun, sure. <laughs> yeah, but like you hear, and you see it a lot, like with our cereals and yeah, in different parts of the culture. You know, kind of for like kids, and then like I mean, they were selling these gold coins today. As you'll see, they're um, the chocolate in there. Yeah, they're chocolate coins. I don't know the quality of the chocolate, but I'll be the guinea pig. Gu guinea pig. Well, that's a half coin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they have leprechauns, uh, and then you'll see people dress as leprechauns. Mm -hmm. And, uh, out, like, for the parades, and, you know, and then, like, during the parades, they'll have people that throw, like, fake gold coins or chocolate mm -hmm. and, you know, celebrate, so. This is Guinness Extra Stout. That is Irish beer, right? You get that right? Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, Dublin. How much do you like it? If, give it a grade from, like, 1 to 10. 10 is the best. Um, I've got kind of beers I like better 
dark bears. <laughs> if uh, an American says that, it means it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> really. If a German says that, he'd be like, oh yeah, we'll give it a seven point. <laughs> and if an American says that, that is like, well, that's a two. <laughs> yeah. It's not my favorite. Um, I don't mind a Guinness beer, uh, but I've had, and I, I sound like a, not a homer, but like I'm taking Germany's side. I've had a lot better dark beers in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, now, I will say this though, the Guinness in Ireland is way better than a Guinness we have here. Okay. And so it makes a huge difference. So yeah, it's a good beer. Mm -hmm. And then there's also, have you ever had an a Irish car bomb? No. So Irish car bomb, it was just a little too early in the day to do one of those, but it is a Guinness beer, then a shot, half shot of Jameson, mm -hmm. and half shot of Bailey's. Mm -hmm. And you put it in, drop it in, and you chug the beer. Oh yeah. And it's called an Irish car bomb. Like a Jaeger bomb? Yeah, I get, yeah, it's like a Jaeger bomb. It just really will go take you from one to 10 real quick. The thing about Guinness is, I'm like the marketing works on me. I'm always excited to drink a Guinness, to drink a Guinness and then I sip on it and then I'm always a little disappointed for some reason. It's not, not my favorite beer. Well, I mean, I've been to places where you'll get, you'll order a Guinness and if it's actually a Guinness drought, like the stout where they're like pouring it, it mm -hmm. takes. I can't remember how long, I think it's like five, six minutes to mm -hmm. actually pour one correctly, and mm -hmm. we just poured it really quick. Okay. Um, but then while you wait, you take a shot of Jameson. <laughs> and so like, no, you'll get a shot and you'll take it, and then like that's what you do while you wait for your beer. Okay, that's interesting. Cool, well anyway, cheers. Cheers. To the parade. Cheers. Cheers. To the parade. Okay. So was that the end? Yeah. I think so, right? Yeah.